let me show you how I get my smudge timer, which is one of the questions that I happen to get a lot of. So I'll show you exactly how to set it up. And the program that I use is actually called Live Split, and I'll leave a direct link here in the description to this. But you wanna make sure you're on the downloads page. So then click on the top version and then save it wherever you want. After it's done downloading, all you wanna do is just right click and you have to extract it because it is a compressed file. So extract it to whatever you want the folder to be. It will do its thing. And then once that's done, you wanna double click on this program that has this icon and then make sure you install it. Now, this is what it's going to look like uh, as you pull it up. It may be a bit smaller at first, which you can increase the size of it by stretching it doing whatever uh but it is going to have a black background next to it and that's always going to be there i make it transparent on stream purposes which i can show you how to do if you are a streamer or content creator as well but to set this up you want to right click and first with settings you can set to start stop and reset to whatever you want these are the main two you're doing because again we're not worried about speed runs and splits or anything like that we are just worried about what it is so again i have mine set to zero and nine to reset because it's a number pad uh, and i typically play with a controller if you want to have it set to like one and three because that's near the wasd keys or which, whichever you prefer whatever you think is going to be easier that's going to be that and you want to make sure that you have global hotkeys checked now to get the color and whatnot, if you go to edit layout, if this is blank, just hit this and go to timer and you can set a timer that way. Now for the color, go to layout settings. This is what I have as my layout. If you want to just copy these, you can. Then under timer itself, this is what I use. And I pick a lime green color. Now, if you wanted to add it in OBS, you want to go down here to add and we're going to do a window capture. And I'm just going to name this timer test because I already have one, but you can uh, I mean, name it smudge timer, name it whatever you want. Then when this pulls up, make sure that you have live split selected on the window. If it's not there, just make sure to click on it and scroll down to whatever you want. So we're gonna go with that, hit okay. And now you're going to see that up here, we have our timer, which we can make bigger, smaller, whatever it is it's going to be on top and then if you right click on the timer and go to filters and we're going to add a chroma key filter to this and you want to make sure that you select custom color select the color and just click pick black hit ok now it's going to do it all out but if you lower the similarity You'll see there in the top how it's gonna go, gonna go down. So therefore, it's going to look better and transparent. So again, that's only going to make it transparent for OBS if you are recording or streaming. You're still gonna have the black bar like this. But then, if you hit nine or if you hit zero to start, which I do, uh, you can do that. I forgot to mention I do hit eight for pause, but I typically don't use pause a lot. After I see it go 130 and the ghost hunts, then I will just hit nine and reset it. So if I knew like I was like, oh, okay, hunt started now, I can go ahead and hit nine and just redo it. Now there are two things to keep in mind when using a smudge timer. One, the smudge timer starts as soon as you smudge the ghost. Not after the end of a hunt, not after the end of the smudge, just as soon as you smudge it. That's when you need to start your timer. You can also time lengths of hunts, which is really good for the Apocalypse Gold Trophy Challenge like I've been doing a lot of. Keeping track of hunts will help you know when you're safe to move around and what not to move items. You can also keep track of in between hunts when it starts hunting to test for a demon because demons can hunt between 20 and 25 seconds while their ghosts will wait 25 seconds to start hunting again after a previous hunt now if you want to see how to better put all this together go ahead and click or tap the screen now to see my no evidence guide and show you how to identify every ghost without evidence thank you so much to all the channel members for the extra support it truly does mean a lot to me thank you so much everybody for watching happy hunting let's learn some no evidence